The painter, Paolo Uccello, lived in Florence from 1397 until his death on December the 10th, 1475. He was a poor man. His commissions were few, and fewer still had survived to this day. His friends and fellow painters despaired of him because of his selfless, uncompromising devotion to the study of the new science of perspective which sought to comprehend and master space. But through his exercise of this mastery and the quiet distillation of his love for the art of his childhood, the majestic and timeless Gothic, he achieved a clarity of vision the like of which has never been surpassed. The poem, entitled Paolo, Some Paintings by Paolo Uccello, was written by Dick Barker during 1970 and 71. Through the figure of Lucifer, his intermediary, the poet traces our passage through the paintings. A star at each temple, and the shining veil between is dipped in night. West wind shakes his curls and chafes at silence. Moon's call sways the tide. Twelve and a four are awakened within nine, and sea and sky entwining, deck the heavens out in laughter, pluck the magic rose of time, and in the navel of the waters cherish dreams. A single grain of sand in luster growing.
the sweet and fatal carol of mortality. The great whale, the dolphin, the sea star and the crab, the eel, the urchin, the lobster, the shark, the cuttlefish, the squid, the seal, the gull, the, the heron, whale, the, the albatross, the shark, the eagle and the, 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 the crow, the starling, the sparrow. is the gold hand of uncertainty. World's bliss, world's glass, carol. Paolo Uccello, Paolo the birds, old father, old Adam. To the ends of the earth, to the uttermost east with apples and milk, to the velvet isle, to the soft skin, O Paolo, sweet one, lover of birds, 
It is time to go home. It is time to say farewell. Dello is waiting, and Minetti, and Alberti. We are leaving together. The staves are all paired, and the lanterns lit, and we will share with angels in the magic storms of loss. But urgently, urgently, a man may never kiss his friends goodbye. Here are apples and milk, cheese and olives. Come. The night birds are calling. We are late. Evening folds the ripened fool in tender storms. Out of the valley and the moon-mazed hills, his flesh brought instantly to sleep. With easy steps, it's night, and moments dance upon the learned pin. Little death encompasses the globe. Darkness clouds the glass. The lady draws on sleeping heart and milks his gladness for her rising flesh. The heraldry of olives grows beckons to a likeness of a rose. Unicorn in black veils rides the night. Of its mouth comes laughter, and the brightest of them trembling in the dark. Mysteries of the past, well, the mysteries of the future.
past will be found the mysteries of the future. In the mysteries of the past will be found the mysteries of the future. For we're greater than we think. We're greater than we think. Giants built the great city of Tewanak, a city the architecture of which resembles nothing so much as a landing ground for spacecraft. In such mysteries of the past will be found the mysteries of the future. Is there a light upon the water? No, there is no light yet. What do you see? 
I see only the shadow of the Almighty floating like a great bird upon the water. There is no light yet. No. Magic. Hush. A monkey in the bow. A peacock in the mast. A fox's bark. And Noah's ark turns its face up to the stars and motionless surrenders to the holy sea. Magic, hush. Lucifer is drumming with a wooden spoon. Idle winds of silver lick the prow. A starfish acts as weather vane. Noah shakes hands with the moon. He bumps his head against the sky. He drops a sandal in the sea. The owl hoots darkly. Magic, hush. Without time, the ocean stands. Moored in silence to the waves, the aching timbers wake and stretch their bows. A horse's dream. His nostrils flare. His ears in troubled sleep have heard the wind creep through the grass. Greenness lifts his heart. He wakes. Blossom has fallen from the mast. Mighty oaks aspire from the deck towards the sky. The stars caught up in treetops. Frail summer on the ocean bowls the dandelion clocks and in the salt crests roots are fastened. Magic, hush. The ark, a mound of greenness in a dwindling ocean stands. Noah, not half awake, hearing the branches tap his roof, turns in his bed and thinks of Hale. Lucifer. Within the ark's dim hold, the world unmade is brought to flesh, and joy, distilled with loss and dread, runs in its blossoming. So tears are salt, as from the waves this world arose. And walking dry shod on the waters, Noah looks back and sees the ark a living hill of green, lit by candles from within and by moon and stars without. Oh, magic, hush. Doubt that our fathers are more greater men than we are. You can doubt that. You can doubt that our fathers are greater men than we are.
Johnny Acuto, the military man. Johnny Acuto, parading the world with his horses and his drummers and his fancy plumes. In the line there, every car! <laughs> Mountains, right wheel! Where are those waves? How on is this holding him right? <laughs> waves? Brass! Where's Italy? <laughs> oh, this is a strut! Full six feet tall he stands, and his eyes, perched in his head like eagles in a lonely crag, with slow majestic gaze, command the scene. Now to wake the ships at anchor, now to build the towers up, now to set an army at the mountains of the moon. San Romano, a mask. Prologue, spoken by Lucifer. Adam on paradise. The rank and unchecked garden as in infancy outgrown its sire. And Adam tottering into daylight, built a kingdom in his wrath. Here also am I quartered, and all that grows beneath the moon is mine. In exile runs our course a while to shape our own perfections, while unwhole the world still offers promise lends a mighty incompleteness to our thoughts. As for the father, he, drunk on eternities of sins, to younger stars imparts his grace. And at the outlaw planet, roars and stamps his rage. 
That corporeal vanities are but reflections of his own. Meantime, the date is June the 3rd, 1432. The chivalry of Florence to Siena's arms is pledged. A lofty tower overlooks from which the plain of San Romano, edged with moonshine and forests, a living chessboard seems. It is the first and only battle of this Western world. Hello, my love, and bind the ribbons from my hair. I will be prince enough without them, laid low in such sweet company as this. Goodbye, my love. Francesco disappeared into the forest and was never seen again. Adrian, unhorsed, his sword arm smashed, fell to the cavalry. By the seventh hour, all his friends were dead. Here stand the crossbows, silvering their wings against the sky. Here the foot, all cap a pied like hounds on leash are clamoring. And here the brazen plumes of thirty knights at arms peep from the grey and secret trembling of the oranges. Niccolo, Niccolo, the visible houses of men adore you. The princes of the other world stand at your side. Advance the banners, open wide your arms, embrace the whole vast canopy of earth and sea and sky and they that walk within it, safe in the love, arms and honour of their friends. with leaves the sun diminishes and twilight falls perpetual on streams and drowsy stones. on her door. <laughs> his face is comely and his eyes are bright. His face is comely, his eyes are bright. <laughs> the sun larks at the window. He's stronger than the, than the mountains, and he's more gentle than the summer sea. His, his lips are like marble, and his touch is like silk. 
lips like marble, his touch is like silk. And the sun comes whistling down the stairs and flings his cap into the wind. <laughs> Multiplies. Vast, endless rolls the forest to the courts of death. Its floor is slippery with roses. Its leaves tear at his eyes. Ten thousand knights at arms wait in the dim. for my fingers, moonstones for my eyes. Niccolo, Niccolo, here is the sadness of the world in all its finery, bright, unbedimmed by sorrows, touched by dreams. Do not be shy with us. In you our courage and our youth have built their fleshly capital. See the love knots in our hair, and this your life's blood in our cheeks. Now comes the geography of life, peeping through clouds, the murmured outline at the bottom of the sky. Tawny deserts, proud, immeasurable, stalked by windstorms and strange lights. Slight sudden greeneries, fair cities idling through them, Staggered chains of mountains fading into mist. The one whole glittering diamond of the sea. And then the light receding into blackness. Empty. Shining smooth. Immaculate and ice. Great dome darkness takes the rod. The stars in silence pitter down, an instant's glow, and vanish into night. Nail to the sky, fly is already rattling on the hot tin. A pair of knights tumble into each other's arms. A lost horse runs up and down the field, its nostrils black with flies. There is a sound like falling rain. The bowmen are surrounded and cut down. It is not enough. It is not enough that I should love you, O oh my friends. 
Lucifer, his fall, they say, ran like a memory through time. Lucifer retains this grief. You think he is coming, but in fact he is going away. You think he is coming, but in fact he is going away. And as he runs, fearful of death and of the massive iron cavalry, the soldier's crossbow spreads its wings across his arms, warm and living in the sun, flaps wildly at his hands, screeches and is gone. And he is left with feathers, feathers floating down out of the sun. Paolo Uccello, Paolo the birds, old father, old Adam, to the ends of the earth, to the uttermost east with apples and milk, to the velvet isle, to the soft skin, O oh Paolo, sweet one, lover of birds, it is time to go home. It is time to say farewell. Della is waiting, and Minetti and Alberti. We are leaving together. The staves are all paired, and the lanterns lit. And we will share with angels in the magic storms of loss. But urgently, urgently, a man may never kiss his friends goodbye. Here are apples and milk, cheese and olives. Come, the night birds are calling. We are late.
and men are in heaven, though the shadow dies. And in his holy walking, old Paolo's learned a trick or two with gowns and princes and chapmen and fools. Well, it's evening now, the moon's up, the stars already waking up and down the sky. The world stood still and waits for night. And this night we shall go walking in Jerusalem and maybe touch upon the magic wood where everlasting summer is in bloom. Come now, Uriel. Come, Raziel, my princely hounds. Come, stars and sky and earth and all men's friends. So was I formerly Uccello, that is Paolo the birds, that is Adam, that is Lucifer, that is Niccolo, that is Noah. Across all time, my hands reach out to clasp the hands of friends, unseen, unknown to me as I to them. And so, wrapped in this strange and sweet embrace, we together make our way into the wood. This film was completed in 1975 to commemorate the 500th anniversary of Vucello's death.